Hi there, it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Now for those of you who are new to these videos, Your Past is a Gift is a book that I wrote um, about my life, about the experiences and all the knowledge that I've collected along the way because I've always looked at the world very differently to those around me. For some reason, I'm always the one peeping out that hole that nobody wants to look out of, you know? <laughs> Everyone wants to stay in their own little bubble of what they've created and what they know and what they're comfortable with. And I've always been the one that's pushed past that. What's beyond that? Where does that go, you know? So I always see things very differently to others. And today in these videos, I wanted to address bullying and how it all comes together and how it's created. So in the previous video, we were talking about how the bullies created up here first. Okay, it's in your head first. It's inside of you first before that person outside even walks into your life to make your life a living hell. Okay, by picking on you, by saying things to you, by all the stuff, blah, 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 you know, that involves bullying. So it all starts because you're comparing yourself to what's around you, okay? We're, we're not taught, when we're kids, we're not taught to look at ourselves and go, wow, I'm so different because I can do this or I can do that or because of how I see things or because of how I, my perceptions, you know? Of, we're all unique, we're all different and we're not meant to be the same. But somehow, you know, we, we're all taught that we have to fit into this little pigeonhole. We all need to fit into this little box, you know, and we all need to be the same. And that's not the truth of who we are. And because we feel that we need to be the same, we're always comparing ourselves to everyone else out there. And we may decide, well, I'm not smart enough. I'm not as smart as that person. Or I'm not skinny enough. I'm not as skinny as that person. Or I'm not confident enough, I don't strut my stuff like that person, you know? So you're always looking outside of you thinking, well, I'm not that, and I'm not that, and I'm not that, and I'm not that. But what you need to start looking at is, what are you? Who are you inside? Not what you're not because you're not that person. You don't know what they're going through in their homes. You don't know what their reality is. You have no idea what's going on. And in some of the videos we're gonna go through later, we're gonna talk about the actual bullies and how they come about. I've done this in previous videos, but I feel like it needs to be talked about more because you need to understand that a bully is created from its environment. When you come into the world, when you're born, okay, you've got your parents, and your parents feed into you all of their knowledge, all of their experiences, everything they've been through, okay? They give you their knowledge. They put that all into you by telling you things all the time, repeating, you know, and giving you all this advice, you know, what they believe, you know, of how you can do the best you can do in the world, you know? So, okay, you've got your parents. And what you need to understand is when a bully comes out into the world to bully another person, okay, it's because they've learnt this at home. It's a learnt response. It's not something that we're born with. You're not born a bully. Okay, you're not born with all those. You're not born a racist. You're not born into the world thinking, oh, this colour's good, that colour's bad, these people are good, those people are bad, for whatever reason. You're not born with those thoughts. Those are all things that are put into you by your parents and the grown-ups that are around you when you're born, through your childhood. So what you have to think of is, you know, I can't help but feel sorry for the bully because many times the bully will pick on you because they see something in you. They envy something in you that they don't have. And because they're already, they're, you know, they're experiencing this in their lives at home and they may be the bottom of the food chain at home you know they're copying all this copying all this bullying you know from the grown-ups around them they go out into the world and pick on someone else smaller than them that they can bully and they can you know express all of this <laughs> that they're dealing with at home they need to express it on someone else they need to let it out 
but they're just copying what they've been given at home. So what I want you to think about today is how lucky are you? If you've got two parents at home that love each other, that love you, that would do anything for you, you know, that you've got a kind heart, you've got a kind soul because of your parents, give thanks today because not everyone has that at home. You know, this is the big problem of the world. We, we all think that what we have at home is what everybody has. And if we're lucky enough to have parents that love each other, that are kind to us, that are kind to each other, that respect us, that respect each other, they're constantly giving you this example of what love looks like. Not everyone has that at home. And I can promise you that a bully does not have that at home. Because think about it, if you feel good about who you are, what is the need to be putting others down? What need? What need are you feeding? What's the purpose of putting someone else down? If you feel good about who you are as a person, as a human being, there's no need to be putting others down. I know because in my childhood I felt that way. I was so happy being me. But not once did I have an unkind word towards another person or trying to put someone else down or trying to bully someone else. I didn't have that need because for one, I didn't have it at home. My parents loved each other and all I ever witnessed was them loving each other and being kind to each other and respecting each other as human beings despite their differences, despite you know having different beliefs about certain things, everything. They never once spoke to each other in a disrespectful way or in an ugly way. There were never unkind words between them, you know? So I grew up quite happy being who I was as a child. But because I was that, I know in my heart that there's no need to be putting others down when you feel good about who you are. All right, so I want you to think about that. Okay, because you feel bad right now that you're being bullied. But the person that's bullying you feels even worse. That they feel this need to have to do this to you. They feel even worse than you do. So you need to open your eyes and start to really look at what's happening. Face that fear front on. Because it's a fear that you've created. Okay, with, okay we'll go more into it in the next video. But for now I want you to entertain that idea. A person that feels good about who they are can never, ever, ever, ever put someone else down or mistreat someone else or disrespect someone else or be unkind. You don't feel the need to put anyone down or make them feel less because you feel good about who you are. All those things, putting others down, mistreating, disrespecting, all those things make you feel bad inside. I know it looks like a power play and it looks like they're better off and they're all happy now that they've put you down and made you feel miserable. But at the end of the day, they feel crap inside. All of that leads, it adds on to more crap of how they already feel. It does. It doesn't matter how much they laugh at the time that they do it and they, you know, it looks like they're having a great time making you feel miserable. At the end of the day, that adds onto their crap of how bad they feel about themselves. They already felt bad leaving the home because they had no power there. These grown-ups are the ones that have all the power because they're the big people. Anyway, we'll talk more about it in the next video. It's going a bit long. I love you guys. So remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.